Alright. <clears throat> uh, I'd like to call this regular meeting of the City of Fall River Park Board of Commissioners to order. Today's Wednesday, September 4th, 2024. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any media. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived by those present and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. The City Charter Section 9-18 mandates that all multiple member bodies develop and adopt rules or policy for public comment. We have adopted such a policy which, in short, provides for citizens' input, specific matters at the end of the meeting. There's a sign-up sheet that is located in the back of the room. That was not the same one that I always read. I was going to say, that's a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll call. Uh, Nick Cecilio present. Amber Burns. BJ no. McDonald. Helen Rigo. Uh, do we have any citizens input? No? No. Nobody signed up. Acceptance of the minutes from the July 16th, 2024 regular park board meeting. I make a motion to accept. Second the motion. Motion to accept, made by Commissioner Burns, seconded by Commissioner Cecilio. All in favor? Aye. Aye. New business. Um, I make a motion to take items E and I out of order. Commissioner Burns made a motion to take items E and I out of order. Do I have a second? Yes, I'll second the motion. Second by Commissioner Cecilio. Item E. We have a request from Sandy Dennis and the Maplewood Neighborhood Association and the Creative Arts Network for permission to make a memorial garden at Maplewood Park. Um, we have the items in there. I don't know if anyone has any questions on that. There, it looks like a... There's a small paved area with a bench, some hydrangea plants, lavender and grass. Um, anybody have anything on that? Nancy, you have whatever you need. Um, yeah, and I will be able to get in touch with Sandy in the group. So if there's anything that the board has any questions on, but um, it seems to be pretty normal with what the groups have done in the past. Um, when is this going to take place? When is this taking place? Oh, I mean, we just have to make a we have to coordinate the plantings and then whenever the memorial will be a little bit of a service. But I can work that out. I can also connect with Nancy um, on when the plantings are going to happen. Yeah, let us know when you're going to have it, and we, we'll make sure that, you know, we can pass to spread the word through. Okay, thank you. Um, I have a, make a motion to accept. Second. Or approve, I should say. Approve. Motion to approve, made by Commissioner Burns, seconded by Commissioner Rigo. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. And, and item I, request from the Garden Club for a tree, plant, tree planting in Ruggles Park and Pine Street. I don't have any questions. I'm assuming it's the trees are approved and they'll work with you, Nancy. Yeah, and I've spoken to Chris about the tree. It was a maple tree, and I actually, prior to the meeting, had a conversation with Chris, so he's going to check and make sure that it's not an issue, and if not, then I have no issue with it. You have no issue with it? You'll no. go through that? Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Anybody else? I make a motion to approve, pending everyone's good with the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I second the motion. Motion to approve, uh, made by Commissioner Burns, second by Commissioner Cecilio. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We're going to be all alone. <laughs> 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 Go have dinner. <laughs> All right, back to the top new business item A. It's a request for a pickleball tournament at Kennedy Park, pickleball courts in Bay Street on October 18th, 19th, and 20th, with a rain date for the following weekend. Questions, comments? Um, there's also a note in your packet related to the porta potty. I don't know, Nancy, did he move it? Is it still down there? Um, they went to, they emptied it, the person serviced it. They didn't move it to the place we discussed, but it will be moved. It's, it was right at the front entrance. It just wasn't very welcoming. So I asked if they kind of move it over. So we probably they, also um, should make sure he knows that it should probably be out of there for uh, the end of October with mm -hmm. when the parks close. When and the did it go in? Did I miss that? 
It's been since the last tournament. tournament. And it's stayed. Is there like a, do we have a timeline? It's like, hey, you have it for your event and then it's got to go, or does it not? Normally the leagues ask if they can put it there for the season. It went there and didn't leave, but I mean, at this point. He's got another tournament, yeah. so another might as well keep it through the so. end of the month. But I think that we should probably put him on notice that the park officially closes. Not to pay for it for November because the end of the happen. month the park well, closes. Yeah. Well, I would also say like once this is up, it, it should go, because right? I yeah. mean, there's well, no he's reason to keep it. For, yeah, but I, f um, I guess they're counting on seeing what happens with the PAL thing. But regardless of what happens with the PAL thing, October 31st is. The nets when the nets, nets yeah. and everything okay. so there's down. So, I mean, if we want to say October 31st and then you can cross that bridge in the spring again, mm. I think it might be a little bit of a more smooth transition. So Nancy mentioned the PAL thing. So we, last month we tabled their um, request for, for the league, league and the yeah. permits that they wanted for the pickleball league. It's the same gentleman that's running this tournament that wants to run the PAL league. We didn't get the rosters and the stuff that we needed in time to put it on the agenda this month. We got it today or yesterday, so I have it. We can I can show you. We can talk about it at the end a little bit. But um, I think that was his thought was to put the portage on. He was going to get the league, and that was part of his thinking is kind of what I assume. So the portage has been there since the last tournament. He's going to move it, but we're going to ask him to remove it at the end of October because that's when all the nets come down mm -hmm. in all the city parks for yeah. the fall and winter. I think my thing is I want to make sure we're following the same protocol that we do for everyone else. So if someone was having a tournament who gets a port john we wouldn't just like let them leave it there no. until whenever. They so that's the, So that's the thing. Yes. It's like you have to request permission for it, and you have to take it when your tournament is done because I just think that that's just leaving. Correct. It's just opening a can of worms. Mm -hmm. Like the box. Yes. <laughs> but the specific item to address is his tournament on yes. the 18th, 19th, and 20th. Mm -hmm. We can just, you know. Yeah. You really can't address the other stuff because it's not on yeah. the agenda. So you yeah. can address We're the We're going to address this. Mm -hmm. And I can, I can reach mention, out to him and have yeah. a conversation with him, too, about the Port yeah. of and, um, I, We need to have a conversation, too, about the other stuff that's not on the agenda. Okay. We'll be on the agenda for next month. Um, I make a motion to approve. I'll second that motion. Motion to approve, made by Commissioner Burns, second by Commissioner Cecilio. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Helen, you good with it? Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Item B is a request from the Fall River Cape Verdean DAS Church for an event at Kennedy Park Broadway on September 14th from 2 to 7. Nobody here? Do you have, that's all you got from them, Nancy, is this, and have you been, in communication with them at all? Well, or? he, um, you know, I did tell him what he was going to have to do, liability insurance, you know, have to fill out the um, civic events form, and he seems to feel that he would be able to complete this prior to that um, September 14th. Because that's like two weeks away. Yes. So. But you don't have all that stuff as of yet. You just have this re request that we have yes, here. Yes, correct. Because normally they wouldn't get it until they know they have permission. Right. Because mm -hmm. those the insurance costs them money, whatever. But and then we wouldn't have them go around soliciting permission or letting the other departments know something's going on if the board was not going to approve it. So effective tomorrow morning, I will respond to him with the board's decision, and he'll have the same amount of time as everybody else to get whatever he needs to do before then or not be able to move forward. But he does know he has to get permits, though. Even though if we grant permission, he has to get permits before he goes I forward. had that conversation okay. with yeah. him, yes. Because, you know, you may think, hey, I got permission, I'll just do it. Exactly. <laughs> no, I, I, I have had that conversation about the park fees, about other departments possibly having fees. I don't know. Is Are you, are you with this event? I don't no. know. Okay. Um, you know, other departments having fees and regulations that he ha he will have to adhere to help regulations with any kind of food. I did say, you know, the easiest thing to do is if you're going to distribute food, it needs to be prepackaged, and that would be the easiest thing. So so we can get, based on the timing of it, we could uh, entertain a motion that says 
pending, you know, him Continue getting the necessary permits, documents yeah. and getting Nancy what she needs, mm -hmm. he can use the park on the 14th from 2 to 7. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Somebody want to make that motion? Yeah, I'll make the motion that uh, we grant permission for the event, contingent on getting the proper documentation and permits for the event. Second. Motion made by Commissioner Cecilio, second by Commissioner Burns. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, item C is a request from John Botello at Federal Little League to extend their permit to include, include fall ball for the 2024 season. So I would assume, Nancy, that he gave you a schedule and whatever he needs for the it's end of the year. A, it's just it's an, an abbreviated schedule. Yeah. Most, it pretty much sticks to what he's had, only it's a little bit less. And um, it probably does include extending his port john Amber. <laughs> And when does that run? That's Do you know so what that, it runs He has a league. <laughs> That's different. Do you know okay. when it runs through? Um, I would say usually it's through Halloween. Okay. First week of, it doesn't go any further than like Veterans Day. They all, depending on how far they get in these tournaments and in these fall ball leagues, they end by um, Veterans Day. Anything else? Mm -hmm. I make a motion to approve. Second the motion. Motion to approve by Commissioner Byrne. Second by Commissioner Cecilio. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Item D is a request from Mr. Hackett for permission to have a storage container during the construction project at Father Kelly Park in Globe Street. Um, Nancy and I talked about this. We, we kind of already said, like, go ahead, Jack. So just so the board knows, we did <laughs> tell him. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, do, do what you got to do. Um, my only, did we run it by the, the construction worker people to, like, where they should put it? Well, he's putting it up in the back against the mural, and I think it's pretty much out of the way. Okay. Um, he did ask for that. Um, and and I uh, think he's been in communication with them because he was trying to play, and we were like, you have to talk to the contractor. Yeah, it's so he's, his. They're, they're going to probably start next week. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, he has to have all that stuff out of there by then. So I didn't want to wait till now, and he only had a couple of days to move it. So I'm like, if it's out of the way, you know, with the understanding that if it is in the way, you might have to move it to somewhere else. And he was fine with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I make a motion to reapprove. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'll Just second kidding. the reapproval. <laughs> motion made by Commissioner Byrne, second by Commissioner Cecilia. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, skip item E. Item F. That second page in Jack's. Um, I did have a conversation with him. He came in to see me, and he's only he's, one page. yeah, there's only one. Oh, you don't have this page? No. Oh, that's that's, oh, that's him. him yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's him too. Um, and I have it highlighted because oh. he was talking about the scoreboard, and this this contractor erecting the scoreboard, and I told him that that's not something the city had gone out to bid for. We the went out to bid yeah. for the lighting, and not knowing how much it was going to cost if we were going to have any unforeseen costs. So that will have to go out for bid as well. So okay. I, I told them let's cross one bridge at a time. Yeah. Um, Is that because it's a $400,000 amount was awarded and the, the lighting doesn't cost that full amount? Is that well, what he's, he's getting at? Right, but the $400,000 amount was for four new poles. I think he's getting five or six new poles it did come in at a different amount, but you know, he in this in this proposal to the CPC, he wanted them to put up the net. He wanted them to put, and it was all the main project was the lighting, the and that's what went out to bid. He's first. trying to get some freebies in there. So we, if there is money left, because it is in here, and I will speak with, to the CPC, they may be able to or it may be able to go out to bid and another electrical contractor erect the scoreboard. It has nothing to do with the original lighting project. Gotcha. These are all things over and above. So I, I told Jack, these are not, because it's a city project, these things have to go out for bid. It's not just like- Right, it's not like there's league. extra money and you can right. just- It's not like his league, yeah, there's extra money, just spend it however you want. The city still has procurement procedures that they have to follow for the extra work that may be able to be done if we don't have any change orders to, you know, get to this amount. I don't think we'll have $100,000 in change orders, but um, it's Got still it. stuff that he's going to have to wait and make sure the city procures it properly. 
So once, and that won't happen until the lighting project is done. Yes. Or at least we can see, you know, it's not going to entail any more funding, and then we can possibly speak to putting out the rest of what he's looking to do. Okay. So I don't think we need to take any action. No, but that, that was but just in that for yeah. the board's um, information. Thank you. Um, to know that a conversation had been had. So no, this is out of order. Yeah, we skipped. We took E oh, already. Yes, e, yeah, touche. Yeah. So now we have item F is the request from the mayor's office for the use of Upper Kennedy Park South Main Street for a street canvas event on September 28th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. I don't have any issues. Mm -hmm. Samantha does a pretty good job sending mm -hmm. everything yep. pretty clear. I make a motion to approve. <laughs> second. Motion to approve made by Commissioner Burns, second by Commissioner Cecilio. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. The next one is the pub police and public palooza request from Christian McCluskey and FRPD to have their annual police palooza event at Britland Park on Saturday, September 21st from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Um, this is an annual event, so I make a motion to approve. Motion to second. Motion to approve, made by Commissioner Byrne, second by Commissioner Cecilio. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. We consolidated uh, item H for the agenda, various tree removal requests at the following addresses, um, and lean on Mr. Martin and his expertise at each individual um, location. Mm -hmm. I think that the board typically kind of leans on him if he thinks it should come down. Yep. It'll come down. So that's why they're they're grouped together. So I don't know if anybody has anything specific at any of these one locations or if we just want to defer them all um, to Mr. Martin's. I, he, I, I think in here, most of them. I think the only one was Doherty Street on this list that was just going to be trimmed back. It was mm -hmm. still alive. The rest of them are all coming down. Okay. So I think just for open meeting purposes, I would say the the address sure. and just you know what we're taking it down, and then the other one that's being trimmed just for. So based on the packet, 177 Doyle Street will come down. 179 Wood Street will come down. 428 Pleasant Street will come down. 188 Woodlawn Street comes down. 498 Valentine Street comes down. 299 Doherty Street is going to be trimmed back and cleaned up. Zero Vale Street will come down. And in between 32 and 40 Oakland Street will come down. And I guess for open meeting purposes, that one is in between my house and my neighbor's house. So everyone knows. <laughs> we need um, just a motion. I make a, a motion to approve. <laughs> <laughs> motion to approve uh, pending Mr. Martin's uh, expertise made by Commissioner Burns, second by Commissioner Cecilio. All in favor? Aye. 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 And in your packet is Mr. Martin's responses to all of them. So mm -hmm. you pretty much have the answer already. Oh. Not something we have to wait for. And um, just for the record, again, I think one is for a driveway. Was that the 177 yeah. Doyle? Yeah. Yes. So that one was for a driveway. The ones that come down too, are, will you be fixing the sidewalk associated with it? How does that get played out? DCMs, the ones that usually re do any sidewalk repair, unless there's a request to plant the tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back in the spot. Okay. So as of now, these are coming down, and then DCM will fix the sidewalk. Right. Okay. All right. Um, and then item J is from the Community Development Agency. And we got some communication from them. Where is Mike it on the last Dion. page? Yeah. So Mike Dion sent over this. The Community Development Agency is in the process of completing their five-year consolidated plan. Um, we've seen it on Facebook. I've seen it online. They're looking for citizen input, park and board input, I would assume. Um, anyone's input so I guess I just asked Nancy to put this on the agendas to make sure the board was aware mm -hmm. that we should probably fill out the survey that they have online 
So and anything think you about, people want yeah. specific, just send it to me. I have to send something back to him by the 12th. Okay. Something direct from this request. And then there's the general thing online, too, I think, which is separate. They have, like, a survey that yeah, I saw. Questionnaire, yeah. Uh, oh, that's the oh, um, open space. Oh, and that's different than that. That's this. different than that. Yeah, Got it. that's the open space plan. That's the planning um, department um, has a survey um, through SurveyMonkey, I think, online, where they ask specifically for what people would like to see done in parks. So how so is that not separate. something that comes to us before that is even put out? Because if they're p planning for something that we will inevitably be responsible for, like how does that not come to us first? I don't think how they're do planning know? for it. I think they're taking suggestions at this point with the open yeah. meeting. Like what would you like to see? Yeah. And then I think they're going to have, it looks like from what I read and I saw it quick and I, it was posted online and stuff that and I, I was confused because I thought they were the same thing, but they're not. Um, the, it was, I think they're going to have some um, community meetings and stuff, too, to get more mm. public feedback as it results. Yeah, I think based, you can't complete an open um, space plan, the city's open space plan, without having so many public hearings, so much public input, and you have to prove that you solicited this public input. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what's going on right yeah. now. I think it's more of if they the like let together. us know like hey we're going to be doing this so if you see it don't be surprised type of thing. No, they're not going to do anything. This is just something where they go. Just gathering information. Yeah. This would be what what, what, what the request from CDA is. You know what would we like to see? Like it's like what are our current yeah. needs and what goals would we like to see? So that's why BJ said you know maybe this is something we should put before the board mm -hmm. for exa for exactly what you're saying. What would we like to see? What would you, as a board, like to see happen? And I think this so kind of ties into a lot of the themes that we've had in the last few months. Like a lot of the stuff has been reactionary, and I think it gives this board a little bit more. Uh, I don't want to say credibility, but it gives us a little bit more um, juice Ownership, behind our yeah. request to say, okay, you know, Mr. Dion and, and CDA is asking us, what do you guys want for the next five years? So let's maybe think about it in the next week and we can send him an email mm -hmm. on some of that stuff uh, that we think he should include For example, like the, the complete CDA. redo of our soccer field, including lighting or whatever. Those mm -hmm. are the kind of things that Mike and Dion and that kind of funding would be able to do, the mm -hmm. complete rehabilitation. Yep. They can't do individual, like fixing of slides or whatever, mm -hmm. but they can completely refurb, you know, re and if we put it in writing and put it there, maybe there's a, you know, mm. kind of a pecking order of, or at least we know how things get prioritized and what may or may not qualify to get, you okay. know, funding and get done. So mm -hmm. this email came in and I just thought it was worthwhile to have. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any real action to take, but I think that following the meeting, we should probably submit something to him and then at the next meeting, we can talk about what he sent mm -hmm. in. Okay. Um, yeah, so I mean, yes, we'll, we'll do just it. place it on file. <laughs> so yeah. I would place yeah. it on file, and okay. in the meantime, the board can, you know, email me anything that they want to see. I'll compile it and send, you know, send it as a package okay. to Mike. Um, I make a request to place on file. Second the request. Motion made to place on file by Commissioner Burns, second by Commissioner Cecilio. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any inquiries or anything that's not on the agenda that we could maybe touch on? I do have one question. So the $700,000 that was approved by the City Council for the skate park in Lafayette that has been now removed, what happens to that money? Like, is that something that would potentially come to us to be able to fix things? Because obviously, like, we know that that I was... I don't know that it's been... I've never received notice that we got it, and I've never received notice that it's not happening. So That's there was kind of a rumor. I was going to say was it was on the city council meeting. I want to say like two or three weeks ago that they did like rescind okay. their approval, but I don't know like what happens with that money now because obviously we have a lot of parks that are half um, the board built or can I guess are missing items. Send a letter asking if it's still going to be assigned to parks or if it will be. We but well, how it, it was it was ARPA did money, they say think, it was ARPA money that they were I using think, for yeah. the skate park yeah it was so um, when they did that at the council meeting did they say they were sending it and it's going to be reappropriated to something they else? didn't say they were just like motion to, ask to remove approval of 
that motion and they all approved it. But I, like I said, I don't know what happens to that money. Because that's, I think we could probably fix a majority of the issues we're having, like when it comes to like the playgrounds that are missing equipment or things we had to take down because they were too old or not safe and we just never got to put anything back. I don't know the, what the, know the, the funding, I yeah, I don't know it's... what the funding, if there's certain stipulations, but if they were gonna take out the skate park and put a new one, I would think that maybe we could figure out some way to use it. Um, I wouldn't want them to like take it away from parks and then now throw it to building. No offense to building, but. Uh, but you know, but yeah, if we can, if I we can, can do that, if, reach out um, and see what. I can send her an email and ask her if she has any information that she can send me that I could give okay. to the board at the next meeting. Okay, that's all I had. You got anything, Helen? I already said what I had to say. <laughs> no, to us, we. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I guess the only other thing um, that we got in. This came in today or yesterday was the pickleball program roster. So last month we tabled the league and their permits. We got the rosters in today, but it was too late to put it on the agenda. But I asked Nancy to just print it um, and bring it. Um, I think there's a couple things that we'll probably consider and go back to um, Mr. Cullen in the PAL. When I looked at it quick, I know you guys haven't seen it, but um, my issue is it's not really even close to 50-50 as far as Fall River residents versus people outside of Fall River. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to set a precedent. I mean, the beginner division, you get three out of 10 from Fall River. The intermediate division is nine out of 20 from Fall River. Um, and then the advanced division is five out of 11 from Fall River. So. We ask all the leagues to give us this information. So I think between now and our next meeting, when we can put this on the agenda, we'll talk to Mr. Cullen, see you know what they think. Um, but I just wanted everyone to know we got this in yesterday. The agenda had already been posted, so it didn't mm -hmm. make it on for this this month for the league. Um, so just for what that's worth, and then the other item that. Also, I didn't think it was worthwhile to put on the agenda, but just so everyone knows, as a follow-up from what had happened down at Bicentennial Park, I think it was 4th of July with the sod, there's now some questions in regards to the cameras that are there and who's responsible for paying and servicing and doing and whatever. So Nancy had sent over that back in April, the city council had accepted this donation of the cameras and the question now that Nancy has been kind of working through with the Veterans Committee and the Mayor's Office um, is who's paying? Because well, what, what is it like about a five thousand dollar? We accepted it. You know, are we we accepted it. We're most likely responsible to fix it. But one camera we've been told is five thousand dollars. So if this is going to be an who's we? The city of Fall River. <laughs> I'm just like, so the, here's So the, the city thing. council accepted the Correct. donation from the Veterans Committee. So There's now it a, becomes city property. So now it's, okay. these are city cameras as of effective of this. Correct. So some but of the things that we had no idea are, until we went to this meeting and were presented with this document. Yeah. So right now they're supposed to, um, the gentleman from, uh, Joe Marshall from the Wall Committee, He's supposed to be getting us the information, the specifications on these cameras so that if things do need to be replaced, we know what they are and how. Mm -hmm. And then it came up that one camera is not working and has had issues. So they're looking for the replacement of that camera and they're gonna send a proposal. Who's they, sorry? The wall committee Okay. Um, is going to send a proposal to um, myself and Mr. Oliveira, I'm assuming both of us will get it so that we'll know what we're looking at as far as expenses and, mm -hmm. you know. And who fixes the sod? The sod's taken care of. Yeah. The mayor's office worked with them and that's... Yeah, that's they, they, so I guess this is my only issue with this, and I feel like this is like a reoccurring theme. The city council will approve something that inevitably comes to us, but then we don't get additional funding to handle any of the that's, things that they're and, giving yeah, us. Like, I don't understand how, like... If they want to accept it, great, but then it should be on the mayor's office or 
someone. I, I agree. That's yeah, the, like that that's the issue sense. with it. Is how does it additional you know, appropriation yeah. for the maintenance right. of them? I agree. The maintenance and repair. So that's and yeah. I think that's so kind that's of what, we're all what kind they're of, working through. The, the information okay. is coming in now, but I I just wanted the board to know that with this whole thing with the cameras and who's looking at the cameras and who's paying for it, it, it was accepted by the city council so the, yes it and does the now become here so we'll city scan them into property them. so we're in the process of trying to gather all that information but okay. just a heads up of if it does come up yes we the city not the parks the city does own those cameras okay. so there's nothing worse when somebody asks you something about a park that's going on and you don't know yeah so mm -hmm. that's really the reason why we by had nancy slip this in at the end just mm -hmm. because there's no item, there's no action to take, there's nothing that the board can really do at this point. Mm -hmm. It's just a follow up from, you know, what had happened when mm -hmm. the It may appear on a was, future agenda yeah. for action of the board, but and right now And if somebody now says not. something to you, this yeah. is where it's at, this mm -hmm. is what they're working through, like it's a little bit of a miscommunication. I would assume that probably moving forward, I don't know how to create that mechanism, but if there is something that's accepted as a donation that impacts the parks, we probably should mm -hmm. know, like, hey, you know, the, the the veterans committee donated the cameras to the city. They're now your, you guys got to deal with them, mm. type of thing. We didn't know that until all this yeah. happened. Right. The letter went um, back to Mr. Marshall, but it didn't come to any of us. So we mm -hmm. we really didn't know that they were accepted by the city. Mm -hmm. So. With that being said, we'll we'll see what kind of information we get back in, mm -hmm. and then I will give that and present that to the board and then the board can take whatever action or ask for an appropriation or do whatever they want to do to and then the other that. piece of that is the the landscape of that area they're still handling that right but they donated the cameras so the veteran the wall committee still has their own landscaping for committee certain areas that of the park, handles yes. that area that's where it gets a little confusing too. We did go out, I got to, to get me. a call and um, I had the guy, the park guys go out if, you know, we don't have to bother the tree guys and we could reach the limbs and we could, we trimmed away some of the limbs that were blocking some of the cameras. We've already done that for, um, for them. Um, so those cameras that are now in view, um, some of them that were obstructed by branches mm -hmm. so at this point that's been done but we're he a matter of fact Bruce Aldrich called me yesterday or maybe today I don't remember the yesterday today and asked if I had received anything yet and I told him I did not and he said he would follow up with the wall committee so okay and then is there something to on this diocese of Fall River? What is, what is the date? That's it's just not until October 14th. Yes, I just wanted the board to know because if there's, that's something that happens every year. Um, you cannot vote on it. I received it today um, when I went and picked up some mail and it's not on the agenda, but it's a yearly occurrence, but you will be able to vote on it prior to, they just use the park drive for their mm -hmm. event. But just so you know, it's in case they have any communication with me beforehand, so not like the after the fact <laughs> vote. I just, it's something that it's can It's an annual come to event, you. so we can kind of tell them. I think what Nancy's getting at is Nancy will probably tell them that. Unless the board you're doing something out of have, the ordinary, yeah. I don't think the board will have a problem with it, you but the official vote will not come until mm -hmm. the first October, Wednesday maybe. in October. Mm -hmm. So okay. that will get scanned in with the packet, too. Okay. Um, Mr. Alvaro, you want to come down? Do you have something? I do. Um, a few. Uh, few meetings ago, uh, Mr. Martin had requested that a, um, an organization, uh, Department of uh, Recreation, uh, Julie Cooper, was looking to do a tour uh, of the trees for riders. Um, and that was September 27th, around 2 o'clock. What they want to do is they want to ride their bikes up, be able to plant a tree, and then leave. And Where? The board Where? can vote on it, though, if it's not on the agenda, Al. But it was on the agenda a couple weeks ago, right? Yeah, it I thought month? it was supposed to. I was thought it was supposed to be on last month. That got canceled. Okay, I don't know where mm. that. Went. I I mean, if it's if it's something that's not going to require a lot of 
whatever. It doesn't even yeah. sound like a permit, right? Or, no, well, I think it's well, if they want to plant a tree. In Connecticut, yeah. and they drive all the way through, they stop, they have certain stops that they take. They go bicycle all the way to like Fairhaven. So we're just a stop along the way. Yeah, yeah we're I just a stop. They wanted to stop at Lafayette on their way through, plant the tree that's going to be donated from Julie Coop from DCR. Plant oh, I think that there. was last month. It was. Yeah. I Did, think there was. And I think we already approved it, didn't we? Is that in the. I don't know. I, don't know. I do remember a conversation about it. Imagine I mean, this. Minimal. No. Yeah. It's minimal, it's just drop Yeah, I don't think just, it's any, you won't just get a, a, they can't take an official vote because it wasn't on this agenda. Right, but September 27th is when they're planning to yeah. do that. And if you don't, if you don't think I was going to say, we would still have enough time. Wait, what's today? No, oh, wait, never mind. I thought we were in August. <laughs> My bad. But procedurally, they can, they can just work, Chris and I can work that out and it doesn't, we won't, I mean, have an official vote. It may be something that we addressed even a couple of meetings ago. Right. But I do recall. Right. We had talked about it, and I. I did you not have the inf all the information or yeah, something? Yeah, I thought it was going to come. I thought it was actually going to come up at last meeting, but then it did. We didn't it have the last canceled, meeting. Canceled, so I think that's got it. what happened. It got lost okay. in the shuffle. There. Got it. Yeah. I don't think it's anything if they're just going to. Um, and I think the tree department can probably right. Right. They're going to supply that. the tree and all that as a donation. I remember this. And I'll just go there and make sure the hole's good and they'll just yeah. come and they're going to plant it by hand. I remember this conversation yeah. taking place. Yeah. So it, it just won't get enough, you know. A, we can probably just acknowledge it and approve it. It'll, it will be after the fact, I guess. but. but Right. for the next meeting mm. but as long as nobody has an objection to it now no um, yeah. I guess what we'll do is just I mean the send, thing send is it to Nancy be in the park as long as Nancy's okay with yeah well I think you and I will be able to coordinate okay. with them because this was kind of just like a drive-through yes, and drop the tree right. and plant the tree I remember this conversation right. So yeah, I, I think Chris and I can coordinate that without a vote of the board. That's a simple, yeah. um, it's not anything that requires any kind of crazy permitting or whatever. So I think that okay. we'll coordinate with each other and yes. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna That's check it. the other, I can check the other agendas because we. I think we may have voted on this um, a couple of meetings ago even. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about that other thing too because you caught me last week and I'm like, I talked to Nancy today and um, I was like, I, I was remind me of that. Me so yeah. Put that in the agenda, but uh, I did put in application with CPC for renovation of the restrooms at Kennedy Park and for the walkways. Uh, that was for the mayor's request. They, the, the applications are gonna be vetted. Um, and that's, uh, I will give you a full package of what it's going to be like. But right now I needed to submit a request for the uh, applications. And um, I'll let you folks. And Mr. Alvera called and asked and they said yes. This is the upper one, right? right? The big, the upper one, like where the feast is. The those restrooms, yes. yes. Yeah. Oh. Those roads are in rough condition. Yeah. It's just, yeah. It just needs to be done. Um, I, had a, I, I had a chance to review the history of, of that and it's phenomenal. Um, used to be Tivitt in Rhode Island at one point. Mm -hmm. And um, so yes, I'll share the entire package with you. The initial initial cost for the building, the first phase is 700,000. The second one we're requesting is 100,000 for the water. And CPC has that money. So it's an application, yep. So we won't have anything approved yet. We can, uh, but I'm gonna need at some point a letter to move forward to the next stage. Um, what we're going to be trying to get the funds for. So what's the plan for the bathrooms if this does get approved? So, so the plans are we had in our architect T2 take a peek at the uh, feasibility and the feasibility is probably a two million dollar project uh, because of the type of building that you're dealing with. You're dealing with a historic building, mm -hmm. you're dealing with some uh, access issues and right now the building was initially built in uh, the 1870s as an all-male restaurant. Mm -hmm. Locker rooms. I mean, when they built it, they built it beautiful granite, stone all over the place, locker rooms. We're going to actually convert that into a male and female mm -hmm. um, at that point. So, so uh, Okay, so I'm sorry. I think I I'm, didn't ask the right question. What is the plan if this gets approved and the bathrooms are there? Who's going to man it? Is that something that we can request that we get additional if it ends up being on the park? 
we get additional funding to man if we need to have somebody go there and unlock it. And if there's any additional funding that ends up being put, uh, or uh, expense that ends up putting on the park board, I just want to make sure our park department that it, it's, someone is thinking of it. So I have, I, okay. have, I have figured that out. Okay. I do have an automated type system that I'm working through right now. Okay. And um, it's going to be state of the art and we're going to have it fully secured. And um, I will have that information to you shortly. Okay. So okay. I've been doing a lot of homework on that. Okay. What's the timeline? Like, when do you need a letter? Like, um, how does that work? Probably next next meeting. Okay. We should, we should be able to vote on that at, at that point. But it's so you'll have some stuff maybe that we could put on the agenda for next meeting, Absolutely. and then Absolutely. we could take an action on it. So we had had an initial conversation last week, and I said it was after I had created the agenda. So. Mm -hmm. I just said we'll talk about it at the meeting and then mm -hmm. we can figure it out from there. Are the same timelines um, November for submittals? Is that what it is with CPC? Correct. November for submittals. Correct. Yeah, so definitely have enough time after yeah. next meeting when he presents. We'll put that on the agenda or whatever. He gets the letter. All the, the CPC is asking is that mm -hmm. the board has no problem with uh, us moving forward with this, but the city is requesting it, so I would think. Like yeah. you said, you can right. put in whatever you want to the mayor's letter, but at this letter is just simply that they have no problem with this moving forward in them requesting the funds. Mm -hmm. And then I think January 15th that they look at them all and decide. But okay. definitely by November 15th, he would need okay. a letter. So, I mean, if it was anything that was pertinent in major action, we would have been here in advance to that. Mm -hmm. But right now, we just put it in just to earmark some monies. We don't even know if we're going to get anything at all. But mm -hmm. the goal was to make sure that we had a placeholder for the funds. And um, we're very excited about that. It's, it's going to be pretty detailed what they're going to do with that stone. And uh, it's going to look fabulous. OK. Cool. All right. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. I have a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion to adjourn, made by Commissioner Rigo, second by Commissioner Burns. All in favor? Aye. Aye.